<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another top 10 rankings video where I rank different movies based on different criteria. Today, we're doing the worst movies of all time. And ladies and gentlemen, let me preface this by saying, I'm not talking about some Taiwanese 1980 movie with a $100 budget, guys. We are going off more modern movies like I normally do. It's very tough to compare older movies to newer movies. Um, and we're going to go with movies that had legitimate budgets and that just completely flopped, that had terrible storylines, that had good actors that really invested bigger budgets. But the movies, even with those big budgets, were terrible, guys. We're not talking about trolls or movies like that. Obviously, we know those movies weren't very good. When a movie has a $100 budget, it's probably not going to be very good. We're going to go with the bigger movies, the movies that were in commercials, they were in many previews, theaters, whatever, and those are the movies we're going to go with. So we will start with number 10. It is Zookeeper, guys, with Kevin James. I actually have a little interesting story about this one. I went to see it when I was about 11, maybe 12 years old with my family at a drive-in. It's all, one of the only times I've been to a drive-in, and, you know, with Kevin James, I like Kevin James, he's a funny dude, uh, but this movie was just terrible. I mean, it, you know, you watch some of these movies, I haven't seen it in a while, but it was just, like, I felt like, you know, it's only number 10, right? It's not, it's not, it, you, we saw the Joe Rogan guest appearance, right? Joe Rogan makes the guest appearance here, but the movie's terrible, it's supposed to be a comedy, it's just not funny, and when, like... If you watched it, you would understand. I mean, it's just a really bad movie. It is what it is. Moving on to number nine, we have Trainwreck. Yes, the movie with LeBron James, guys. And I always make the joke. I always say, well, the reason the movie's called Trainwreck is because LeBron's acting is a train wreck. I'm not going to take shots at LeBron, though. He really wasn't that bad of an actor. Amy Schumer being, you know, a lead role. That, that I mean, it's just, it's terrible, right? It's terrible, especially for a comedy. I could have probably picked five or six of our movies to put on here, but I'm only going with one, the movie Trainwreck. It just wasn't good at all, and it got a lot of pub, I guess, due to LeBron being in it. Again, I make fun of LeBron's acting. I don't think, you know, for, for a, obviously a superstar NBA player, I don't think he's a bad actor, but it was funny to see him in that. Moving on to number eight, Terminator, Dark Fate, guys, in this one. I don't know, I, you know, I saw the uh, the previews in theaters, guys, and this, oh, the woman shooting the uh, bazooka, and having no recoil on it, oh my god, you gotta go watch it, you got, I mean, this, they made one too many Terminators, they maybe made two or three too many Terminators, but, uh, Terminator Dark Fate, it just came out, I believe, 2019, maybe 2020, I don't remember, it was, was it earlier last year, 2019, I think it was 2019, uh, just a horrific movie, really, truly horrific, moving on to number seven, one of my personal favorites, this was on my most overrated list, although it really wasn't overrated, I just wanted to talk about how bad it was, it is Stranger's Pre at night. I've talked about this movie before. Uh, the first installment of Strangers that I believe was the 2008 version, that was a very good movie. Uh, this one was horrific. It had one good scene. We know the pool scene. You can look it up. It was a good scene. Um, but other than that, my God, there's just nothing scary about this movie. The, the beginning scene may have been the most scary thing about the movie. The beginning scene, the very first scene, um, you know, I saw this movie in theaters and you watch the first scene and it's like, okay, you know, let's see what this is about. Uh, but the ending was, I mean, the ending literally, it made me want to just out loud say, like, what am I watching? And, and that's when you know a movie's terrible, especially a horror movie when you're just like, like, I, I, it's just like you want to say, like, this is so bad. Like, like, oh my God, like, just go off to the road. The girl is going across the road. She's being followed by a truck. Honey, it's a bridge. You might want to move off the bridge. The truck can't follow you then. Uh, but I, I don't know, guys. Moving on to number six. 47 meters down, uncaged, because we needed another 47 meters down movie. Uh, we know the first 47 meters down was when they were stuck in a cage. That one was on Netflix. They decided, you know what? The first one did so good in the box office. I don't know how. It did get some pub. There were some people talking about it. So they made a second one that I saw, I believe, on Amazon Prime. I rented it for $4 or something. What a mistake that was. Terrible, terrible movie. They're in like a little... Uh, I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's a little cave or whatever, a little temple underwater. Oh my God. One of the things rocks fall. One of the rocks falls. They can't get out. 
There's a shark, of course. Oh my goodness, is this movie terrible? My, we didn't need to see another one. We 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 got enough with the first one. The first one was was good enough, but we get another one. That was number six, 47 meters down on cage. Moving on to number five. This is a comedy, uh, a million ways to die in the West. And this is, I'm just gonna simply sum up this movie. This movie tries every way possible to be funny. And it is not funny at all. It's the simplest way I can sum up this movie. It is, you, you, you're watching the script get written. You're watching the movie play out. You're watching joke after joke after joke. Cringe, 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 cringe. You just watch it and it's just not funny. It is not funny. Okay, some of these comedies, there's a lot of really bad comedies. This was one of those comedies when the whole movie was just trying, was just, it's just the storyline, it's just based around comedy. And it just was not funny. And that's why it's number five on my worst movies ever list. Moving on to number four, Wonder Woman, 1984. Guys, Wonder Woman did the impossible. It made people come together and hate on a female superhero, right? Because we're always talking about feminism this day and age. You can't hate on any women movies, women power, but everyone kind of came together and they, everyone kind of whispered under their breath. They're like, oh my God, this movie's terrible. Can we actually say that due to the feminism stuff? Yeah, we can say that. Every, it got to the point where everyone was just like, okay, the movie's terrible, right? And, and, and it's a new record. Like you would think normally if this movie was mediocre or if it was just okay, I think people would be like, no, that was good. It was good, right? Because of the feminist feminism thing. But everyone just kind of realized, yeah, this movie is god awful. Let's just say it because of how bad it is. And wow, was that movie terrible. Not really surprising about that one. That was a really recent release, Wonder Woman 1984. And everyone was kind of like, well, we got to tread lightly with the feminism thing. No, everyone thinks the movie was terrible, so let's just call it what it is. It was terrible. And moving on to number three, Bright. Now, this one with Will Smith was on Netflix, and I saw the trailer for this movie, and honestly, I could just put it on this list due to the trailer. This movie just, it never made any sense. It is the definition of of god awful and you may say well it's a netflix movie you can't really do that that's cheating it's not big enough i mean i thought it was a decently big movie i thought you know there was a lot of money a money invested into it if you get will smith as one of the actors um the movie it's just it, oh my it's just it, it made no sense i it's very frustrating to talk about some of these movies like who thinks of this crap and then will smith agrees to be in this just like i would look at the script and be like like uh, maybe you need the money but it's just like I don't think Will Smith needs the money. I would just be like, yeah, no thanks. This is ridiculous. Uh, this one is disturbing. Uh, number two, Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler. And I'm not one of these people that hates on Adam Sandler. I know a lot of critics think his movies are bad. This one was disturbing. Uh, you know, Adam Sandler playing the man and the woman. I mean, just, I mean, take a look at that. Like, is, what's going on here? I, you agreed to be in a movie like this. I, I don't know, man. I really don't. I don't know what you see in it. It's disturbing. It, it's terrible. It's awful. The storyline is, I mean, like, how can you make a good storyline when you, like, you just, just take a look at it. Just take a look at it. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we have reached the number one worst movie i've ever seen and again this is the one i've seen in theaters guys this holds a special place in my heart if you guys didn't know it is us i don't know if you can see that um but yes it is us it was number one on, on my overrated movies list and it is number one on my worst movies list um again nothing against jordan peele um i don't know you know what we have to talk about with this movie but oh my god oh my God, I saw this movie during March Madness and it's just got to be the worst decision I've made in my life. The worst decision. Oh my goodness. Interesting story about this movie. I had not seen any of the previews going into it. And what I did was I just searched, I just quickly Google searched it when I was, when the, you know, trailers were going on, the previews for other movies. And it had only like an 86% like Google liked rating by the users. And you think 86% is pretty good. But when a movie first releases, normally it's at least at minimum 95% liked by users. So when I saw that, I was like 86%, that's substantially lower than it normally is. Um, that's not a good sign. And I was like, that's really weird. Um, and then you watch the movie and yeah, you can understand why. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the little dude running around. The, the little, the little kid running around like a little, uh, just a little spider monkey. 
The woman who talked like this because, oh my good Guys, I just can't do it. I can't do it. And, and the one other thing I was thinking when I put this list together, one of the things I was thinking, if somebody, like, imagine talking to somebody about the movies and they're just like, oh yeah, my favorite movie's uh, Terminator, Dark Fate. <laughs> just, yeah, my favorite movie is uh, Wonder Woman 1984. My favorite movie's uh, Jack and Jill. It's just funny. Like, like, if somebody... If I was having a conversation with somebody, and they were just like, you know, my favorite movie's uh, 47 Meters Down, Uncaged, that person would become the favorite, my favorite person ever. They would... I, I would immediately watch the movie with them. I would find it hilarious. <laughs> but, okay, so here are some other ones that um, didn't make the list, but I thought they were just terrible. Geostorm. We've got Grown Up Freddie Benson in that one. Oh my goodness. Uh, the First Purge. I always loved the Purge concept. And guys, so the Purge made an egregious mistake. You literally cannot talk about the Purge franchise. And this, I'll explain to why. Why can you not talk about the Purge franchise? Because the First Purge, the movie title, The First, first Purge, is the fourth movie. So when I'm trying to reference the first Purge made, the one with Ethan Hawke, it comes off like I'm trying to talk about the newest movie because the fourth installment of the Purge is called the first Purge. Guys, the one with Ethan Hawke, the one with Ethan Hawke got a lot of unnecessary hate. It really wasn't that bad. I thought Ethan Hawke was a beast in it. But when I'm talking about the first pur Purge, the fourth overall installment, um, it was terrible. And I'm not going to put it on the, the list because I think The Purge is such a unique concept. And, I mean, it'll, it'll entertain you, right? Because there's a lot of killing. It's just so unique. You know, when crime's legal, that's always interesting. Um, but that was another one that was terrible. The Emoji Movie. Oh, my goodness. These are honorable mentions, guys. But, yeah, The Emoji Movie, goodness. Uh, Passengers. Yeah, the Passengers doesn't, doesn't deserve to be on this list. But I just thought it was a really boring movie. You know, you had one great actor and one great actress and the premise of it was good. I love space travel, but it just felt like something should have happened. Like the biggest part of that movie was her realizing that he woke her up on purpose. And really, I thought that was going to be part of the climax and we were climbing to something bigger. But it was just like, it just kept dragging on and dragging on and we didn't reach anything. Um, again, I don't think it's, it's definitely not one of the worst movies. I, it's maybe one of the overrated movies, although a lot of people didn't like it. So that's interesting. Another quick thing, guys, I really don't agree with a lot of critics. I'll be honest with you. Like, I was looking up to rejog my memory some of the worst movies from like 2015, 2016, 2017, like going through all the years. And I was looking on one site and they said the worst movie, I believe of 2015, was Taken 3. And I'm like, what? I thought Taken 3 was the second best Taken movie behind the original Taken. I thought it was better than Taken 2. But even if you didn't like Taken 3, like, how could you consider that the worst movie of 2015? Like, get over yourself. Okay, it definitely, okay, maybe it didn't live up to the hype. Maybe they're just redoing it just for a money grab. But with Liam Neeson, that movie was not that bad. Calling it the worst movie. These critics are so overdramatic with some of these movies because maybe they don't live up to the hype. But calling it the worst movie of 20, 2015. By the way, I think Rotten Tomatoes has us rated higher than Interstellar. Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I, guys, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh my God. I, I, I looked that up a while ago and I saw, this was probably right after uh, Us got released. And I looked it up, I'm like, oh my god, like, taking Rotten Tomatoes seriously, you can't take it seriously at all, it's just, Rotten Tomatoes is such a joke, dude. And then these critics, like, putting Taken 3 as the worst movie in 2015, listen, I didn't think Taken 3 was a masterpiece, but calling it the worst movie of 2015, come on guys, one more uh, rendition of my list, coming in at number 10, Zookeeper with Kevin James. Uh, number nine, Trainwreck with LeBron. Is, no, not, LeBron wasn't the lead role, but he was in it. Number eight, Terminator, Dark Fate with the woman with no recoil. Uh, number seven, Strangers, Pray at Night, the terrible remake. Number six, 47 meters down, Uncaged. Oh my goodness, Uncaged. whoop de doo Number five, A Million Ways to Die in the West. The A Million Ways to Die watching this movie because it's so bad. Number four, Wonder Woman 1984, A Feminist Revolution. Number three, Bright. With Will Smith, certainly. I mean, that movie... Bright just makes me angry. God, that movie was bad. Number two, Jack and Jill. We've got a nice transge transgender thing going on in that. And then number one, Us. Of course, it's always going to be Us, guys. I, the first thing I did was put that right at the top. Got to do that the first thing, guys. It's always going to be my worst movie. It actually holds a special place in my heart. It does. But guys, 
That's going to do it for this video, guys. More top 10 lists are coming. I am going to be pumping out content, hopefully daily. I want to be uploading daily, guys. I'm going through some personal problems. I'm working through it. I want to upload. But guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I am, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.